Oh my gosh. So guys, I did a video last year where I tried to use the most expensive products that I had in my whole makeup collection. I did a video last year of me using my most expensive makeup, like bougiest makeup tutorial. Well guys, I just, I realized that I really didn't try hard enough. Like I know that I can make my makeup more expensive than that. I get gifted so much makeup that I just knew somewhere in these Ikea drawers there was, you know, the holy grail of expensive makeup. I reckon I can get my face over the $2,000 Australian mark. I actually have not checked how much everything was, but my foundation itself was almost $300, so surely, like surely, Oh my gosh. So I wanted to do a really expensive look, also inspired by Christian Louboutin shoes because I bought a Louboutin eyeliner and it's red. So like the red bottoms, I wanted to do a red bottom to my eyeliner. That's it there. So extra. Yeah. The Notification Squad giveaway is for a Tom Ford lipstick. Not the one I'm wearing right now. It's a nice kind of deeper nude color. Super divine. So if you want to win that, just make sure you have the notifications turned on and you're subscribed. Leave a comment within the first 12 hours and like the video. I definitely think that you don't need to spend a bomb on makeup. I definitely love to every now and then splurge and treat myself because that's something I like to invest in. Some people like cars, some people like golfing. But for me, a beautiful by Terry palette like this, for me this is like a collector's item, right? I've never even used this and it would, um, it would really pain me to use that, but I don't use that one in this video, but I do use other stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to say that I just don't want people to think that this is me like boasting about how expensive my makeup is. Like that's not what this is about. I just really wanted to see how crazy and how high I could get the uh, dollar value of my makeup on my face to be. So without further ado, let's get into the look. I'm even going to be counting brushes because <laughs> I'm doing the most. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy. Let's go. Okay, skincare, so important for looking expensive. All right, this is Caudalie Beauty Elixir Spray. I do recommend it. That's just, it really refreshes you. It's like a zing to the face and it plumps your skin as well. Then I'm going to take the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Primer. Bougie as it gets, Kevin Aquan. Let's take two pumps because we don't care about money in this video. Probably get a call from my bank after this. Blending that out with a Dior foundation brush. And then because that is actually a hydrating primer, I'm gonna take my Givenchy Matte Blur and Touch. It's a stick and it blurs your pores. So I'm gonna put that in my T-zone over my nose. Think rich people have pores? God no. When it comes to foundation, the most expensive one I own is the Skin Caviar Concealer Foundation. This is like, holy crap, it's like 260 bucks. I did a video on it once. La Prairie Foundation. Whoa, oh my god, $295. <laughs> yeah, I mean, of course it's good, right? And then to add radiance to it, it is radiant, but I do want like more of a glow. This is the Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer. Just gonna add that to it. That's a lot there. Okay. To blend that, I'm gonna take my Artiste brush, the Oval 8. I have to say, I do really enjoy the oval brushes. They take some getting used to, but they're actually pretty quick at blending foundation. I've still got some of that cheap glitter on my face. But yeah, if you're a makeup lover, I definitely think having an oval brush, especially the face ones, so good for creams. Little bit of concealer. And that was with a Shuomura brush, which isn't like mad expensive, but... Okay, now I'm gonna set that with my Chanel Powder Universal Libre. This is so old, it's probably baldy. So I've got the shade 40 Translucent. Look how tinted that is, that's not 
translucent, right? I want a Marc Jacobs brush, no less. Before I forget and move on to powdering my face, I'm just gonna add contour. This is Burberry. And then under my eye, I need concealer. Golan Multi Perfecting Concealer. Can't believe I tried to powder my face before I'd even done all this. What is wrong with me? To set under my eye, I'll take the By Terry Compact Expert in 3 Apricot Glow. The inner one's shimmery, but the outer one's matte. I'm gonna take that on a Surratt brush and set under my eyes just that area. Now I'm gonna bake under my eyes because I'll put some eyeshadow on and I don't want it to fall all underneath there. To bake, I'll take La Mer the powder. It's just a $175 powder, you know. <laughs> no biggie. Okay, I couldn't believe how much this eyebrow pencil was when I looked it up. It's the Brow Sculptor from Tom Ford, and this is in the color taupe. One end has a spoolie, and do you want to see a real joke? So funny. That's all you get. <laughs> okay, so one end's a spoolie, so I'll just brush them all up, and I'll just fill in my whole brow with that. And then I was equally as shocked by how expensive the Tom Ford brow fibers were. It's amazing how expensive it is, I mean. Okay, very expensive brows are on. Once they dry a little bit, I'll buff out the front because it's looking a bit hectic. Onto eyeballs. So I'm gonna prime with Tom Ford. Tom Ford's just so expensive, like. Whenever I'm going through my stuff and I'm looking up how much things are because I truly am trying to pick the most expensive thing right now um, Tom Ford's always like the most expensive. So this is a primer for your eye. It's an eye duo So it's got a primer and powder at the top. So I'm gonna use it So the primer part goes on your eyelid and then you set it with the powder that comes at the top Surat brush again I quite like this because when you set the eye primer, um, it means that powders that you put on over the top are gonna go on really smooth and you can blend them out really um, easily. Okay, then for my eyeshadow, I'll take Pat McGrath Labs Mothership. Cool. Use without caution. <laughs> this one is, um, oh f Which one is this? I threw the box, well, should I not throw the box away? I'm pretty sure this one is the Mothership 2 Sublime. It's literally like $300. Let me just double check. Oh no, it's not. It's US dollars 125, which means it'll probably be like $200 in Australia. <gasps> oh, that's not even the one. It's not Mothership 2. My bad. Is that the one I wanted to use? What the f Now, you see, I wanted to wear a red lip, so I didn't want to do an eye that's like too intense but there's nothing that's not intense about these, like either of them. I feel like I'm not gonna do it justice. I'm gonna get a Tom Ford palette. I'm... I feel like those palettes need their own video, so I'm gonna grab a Tom Ford. Okay, I've never used this one because it still has the plastic on it. It's called Coco Mirage Number no. 3. These palettes themselves are like $100 for just four eyeshadows. So it's actually more expensive than the Pat McGrath ones because you get way less in the palette. There's only four shadows in here. And the Pat McGrath ones have, what, like 10? 10 shadows? Yeah. Surat Smoky Shadow Brush. Take that cocoa color. I'm gonna be honest. These are definitely the softest brushes ever, but there's not enough structure to them to make use of the point. If 
that makes sense. Like the shape of it, it just collapses when you press it on your eye unless you go super light where you're not even getting like product on it. So don't recommend this really big one. But they have other sizes that I like and I'll get to them soon. See how like I put it down it just, you know, becomes like a little lump and I can't really control it as well. But if you just put the color on one side of the brush and then you just sweep it across, it um, works better. Okay, Marc Jacobs brush in the matte color. Then this darker one. And look at this. This one's a smaller Surratt brush too, so it's a lot better than the large one. Like I don't think the large one is worth it. Okay, Tom Ford eyeliner in Tom Ford Onyx Eye Coal Intense. I'm actually gonna use this to make a wing and then I'll smudge it out with a brush, a Tom Ford brush, what else? <laughs> and then I've got an Estee Lauder. This is the Magic Smoky Powder Shadow Stick in Burnt Black. I love this for smoking things out. So definitely get it. Okay, now I'm gonna start doing a wing. Okay, so it's raw like that, and then I've got the, mm, I wonder if I can sharpen there. Yeah, so I've got a big Smashbox sharpener. Ooh, that, ooh okay. <laughs> I thought it had one of those things to catch the sharpenings, but it doesn't. Nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this pencil straight over the top. And then that Tom Ford brush will smudge it all out even softer. Repeat to the other side. For a little bit of shimmer on my lid and in the inner corner, I'm gonna take this Burberry eyeshadow in number three, Shell. It's really pretty. Really nice for paler skins. All right. Moving on to mascara. I'm gonna take this little baby from Hourglass. So we've got the Curator Instrument, which is this metal thing. And then this is a primer. I'm just getting it on the wand. It sort of looks like up close. It is extremely expensive. Um, it's like a, over $100 just for this. And then both of these little pots cost $52 each. This one's the primer and this one's the actual mascara. So I'm gonna get the primer on my eyelashes. It's actually good, like it's really good. Okay, and then you put the instrument in the mascara once you've cleared it off, cleaned it off of all the primer and that. And the cool thing about it is, is that when you press it up under your lashes, you tight line at the same time. See, I just tight lined under there. And it's really good for your lower lashes too. So it's really good for your lower lashes if you don't like to put too much product on your lower lashes. I'm really pumped about this. I bought this Christian Louboutin eyeliner. It's a red eyeliner. Louboutin red. It's called Oil Vinyl Rouge Louboutin 01 eyeliner. And it has a little felt looking velvet, I guess, eyeliner tip, let me show you. So it's not a brush or a bristle, it's like a very tiny flexible doe foot applicator. Can you see me? Yeah, there. So I thought I would do the little luby look and do a red line underneath my wing there, like the red bottoms, while well, the red bottom to my eyeliner. Okay, 
This is, I don't know how this is going to be, I've never used this before. Whew, I was keeping my eyes so open there and I really wanted to blink, now they're watering. I bought that eyeliner for 120 Australian dollars. And for something that, like how often are you gonna use that? And to be honest, I'm quite aware of it on my eye right now. It feels a bit uncomfortable. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my concealer, try to straighten it out a bit. I feel like I actually need another black eyeliner in a wing to make that look more sharp. Hmm, maybe once I put the lashes on, it will look better. Okay, so we can probably brush away the baking now because I've finished with the eyeshadow. I've got a Dolce & Gabbana bronzer. It's called the Bronzer in Sunshine. That's what the packaging looks like. I'll just use my powder brush from Surratt and I'll apply it where you apply bronzer. So kind of like all over the cheeks, sweeping it up. I hadn't even heard about Dolce Gabbana doing makeup until I received this in my mailbox. So it's a nice bronzer. Nice and subtle, buildable, blendable. The bronzer is $48, which isn't as bad as I thought. Well, I mean, that Dolce Gabbana bronzer was matte. So now I'm gonna layer a bit of do you know what? I'll use this for my blush as well, so it's not completely ridiculous. But this is the Neo Bronzer in Capri Cool Pink from Kevin Aquan. So for this one, I'll take the shimmer. Oh, fuck. The powder went everywhere. Hmm. I'll use the shimmery part of the bronzer up the top then. And then I'll take the cool pink blush. It's so beautiful the way it's just such a seamless ombre. Oh, that's beautiful. And I've also never used this before because I thought it was so beautiful, I couldn't touch it, but I'm worth it. It does also have a highlight there. The highlight's not as shimmery as I want today, so I'm gonna leave it. I did say I was gonna buff out the center part of my brows, so I'm just gonna do that now before I forget and walk out looking tragic. My pet peeve is when people leave the inner part of their brows really square. I mean, wear what you wanna wear, but that was something I used to do when I first got into makeup and I just hate looking at old pictures of myself. And I see a lot of people like not fading out the inner part of their brow. I just think it's very harsh. Huzzah, okay. Gonna take Grandiose Liner from Lancome. I like this one. It's a little bit like unforgiving, so be confident if you're gonna go grab with this one. I like that it's got an angle brush. You can use it straight or you can angle it either way. Um, it's got a felt, flexible felty kind of pen, but being a liquid, uh, it dries quite quick, like as you're using it, so you have to keep dipping, and it's just not very forgiving. So, uh, like, I've screwed up my eyeliner so many times with this, so this is just so risky. So risky. Oh, that's better. That's done. That's what it looks like. Pretty nice. I think it looks pretty good. To be honest, I do feel that that um, Burberry eyeshadow on my lids a little bit chalky looking. Kind of washed out the look a bit. For a beautiful blinding highlight, I'll take Bobby Bur what? <laughs> Burberry. Oh, how can I confuse the two? Okay, for a beautiful blinding highlight, I'll take this Burberry one in rose gold on a fresh brush from Surratt. So this is another one. 
Whoa. Whoa. Beautifully emphasizing the texture there. Oh well. Kevin Aquan medium sculpting powder with a little oval brush, the oval three. Okay, the contouring brush. Okay, the Guerlain Super Lips. This is a lip balm. Oh, excuse you. <laughs> that was the cutest little fart. Okay, I'll leave that on while I do my lashes so that my lips can prepare for the red lipstick. What is this? I never do that, so it feels odd. These are Artemis lashes. Guys, there's no such thing as a more bougie, bougie. <laughs> I obviously don't say that word much. Bougie lash product. They're so expensive. This one is called Mistaken Identity. This is literally like a wooden box or something. It's got velvet inside. It's so pretty. Artemis have their own lash scissors. I'll just chop off a little bit and see how they fit. Oh my god, I almost stabbed my face. Um, I'll probably cut a bit more. Otherwise, I know they'll be uncomfortable. Wow, they're good for big eyes because as you can see, I just cut off so much for them to fit me. I'll use Duo Dark Tone Glue. And then Artemis have this lash applicator as well. It's 20 bucks. I think lash glue is the leveler, like it. I don't think there are any expensive eyelash glues, so luckily this is bringing us all back down to earth. That's on. Now I'm going to take NARS Precision Lip Liner in Holy Red. How beautiful is this Tom Ford set of lipsticks? It's got four different ones in there, but I'm gonna take Jasmine Rouge. It's a beautiful true red, and it's got the embossed Tom Ford symbol in there, which makes you just feel so guilty about even using it, but I'm gonna use it. I'm surprised the little TF is still there, to be honest. I wonder how long it would take to get rid of it. Okay, I did it. That's the look. It's complete. Louboutin eye makeup and a beautiful red lip. As you'd want, this look came out pretty good, I think. I like how my skin looks. I do think I ended up putting too much like bronzer on and stuff. But. All right, guys, here's the look up super close. One last thing to complete the look. Oh my God, two last things. I wanna use Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And Tom Ford Soleil Blanc Shimmering Body Oil. Gotta let the glam carry on to your body. And then watch my outfit be from ASOS. <gasps> All right. Not like I couldn't have achieved this with cheaper products, don't get me wrong, but that was certainly fun to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Don't forget to enter the contest. I always put the instructions in the description box and yeah. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. What's the most expensive makeup product you own? I wanna know. Makeup can get so expensive, but I know for sure that I definitely finally used like the most expensive products that I own in this video because the last one I did, 
I don't think I really reached as high as I could have, so I think I did it in this video. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.